I heard something. I'm not sure what it was. I'm gonna go back. And then next thing, you know, you're choking. Look at this guy. This guy's running. He's loaded with testosterone. drink got some cold water I didn't use the bathroom it feels dry out here so another thing is uh, I haven't been taking my creatine I've been doing my uh, I've been taking a break I've been doing my one month break from creatine so and I I feel lighter actually uh, I'll go. I'm gonna go. A little bit of water right here. All right. So yeah, I haven't been taking creatine, and I noticed I dropped some weight. But I'm back to my normal weight. I'm trying to see if I could get back down. Maybe below 150. Maybe that's that's kind of hard for me, but. Anyways, let's see what happens. But uh, pretty soon I'm gonna get back on on the creatine again. I probably gain some weight, I'm trying to lose some of that fat. But yeah, my, uh, you know, creatine. If you take creatine, you retain more water. And uh, I noticed my face is a little bit skinnier, but I still have the muscles. I still retain the muscles. It's just I feel a little bit lighter. A little, a little bit skinnier. I think, you know, I lost some of that water. And I'm also sore. Every time I do something, I'm, I get sore, more sore than before when I was taking creatine. So, anyways, just to let you know. But other than that, you know, I haven't been eating much. I've been trying to eat less, actually, and take a longer rest. I'm almost like doing a uh, fasting, like uh, almost, almost like intermittent fasting. But I don't do it on purpose. It's just that I'm too lazy to go get something to eat, so I wait till my wife cooks dinner. So I don't eat breakfast because I'm sleeping in. You know, when you're retired, you don't really need to wake up early. My wife takes the kids to school. My oldest wakes up early, drives herself to school. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna sleep in. I might as well get a, a full rest, right? I'm getting older, I'm not getting younger, so I'm trying to get that beauty sleep. Keep my keep myself young and beautiful, you know? Just in case, you know, the wife uh, passes away before I do early, I need to, you know, go find another wife, just in case. Not that I'm hoping for it, but you know, you never know. So got to keep yourself young and beautiful. Get your beauty sleep. Now it's the afternoon. I usually wait in the afternoon to ride the bike. I think it's a better lighting in general. At least, at least where I am, the lighting, I think around noon it's better lighting I like to see everything I don't want the Sun in my eye although you get some great lighting if the Sun's behind you the problem is you know you're not you're not static you're you're uh, you're constantly turning left and right and you know so the so the so the Sun could be behind you then the Sun's in front of you and when the Sun's in front of you man you get the worst lighting right there so I just, and plus this afternoon, most people aren't driving about afternoon, 
they're somewhere else getting lunch, you know, or they're at work. For sure they're at work by now. This is probably the, the best time to ride around where I live because they're not in traffic or anything. Not that I get a lot of traffic, but you know, I do. I do. Morning rush hour is really bad. Afternoon rush hour. A lot of people leaving, a lot of people coming. Uh, getting a nice non-humid breeze. It's going to be in the 90s. It feels like the 90s, probably like 80s. I'm not sure. I have to take a look at the weather stats. But it feels drier more than humid, which is nice. Because I could probably handle dry. Dry for me is not a problem. Humid, yeah, man, it, it becomes unbearable when it's humid. I heard something. I'm not sure what it was. I'm going to go back. I just heard a clink. I just don't want to. I want to make sure I didn't. I didn't lose or drop anything. Okay, there's some metal parts here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it is. Just some metal pieces on the road. I heard a clink, so I didn't want to. And it almost looked like it hit it hit my foot. It might have bounced off, but there's more metal pieces right here. Okay. All right, just, just in case. When you hear clinking noises, like, it just, I'm playing it safe. I don't want some bolt or screw to come loose and then I'm riding around, next thing I know, my wheel is not on my bike anymore. That's all it was, just a precaution. It was just some metal pieces of stuff, road debris. Because when I heard that clink, that's not a natural noise you would hear. Any kind of like clinking noise, knocking noise, metal noise, Definitely, you know, slow down, take a look at your bike. I didn't look at my bike, I just wanted to see what... I saw what it was, what made that metal noise, and I'm pretty sad, I'm satisfied that it's not a part of my bike. All right, never a dull day. Never a dull day riding the electric Rad Rover. At least for me, anyway. It's not a dull day for me. It's always a fun, exciting day when I ride my electric bike. You know, I don't have to go out, go on some kind of crazy wild adventure to get fulfillment. I just have to ride my electric bike, enjoy my day out here in my community where I live. I don't have to go far, thank goodness. And I got all the amenities, you know, cold water, hot water, ice, air conditioning, bathroom. You know, when I go into the clubhouse, I go in there to cool off. It's still hot out here. It's still relatively humid, but it's drier today. So I got all the amenities. Why would I, why would I go somewhere else? You know, you gotta ask yourself, if you live in a great area, why would you leave that area? Why on earth would you leave that area to go to a different area? Just just to be novel, you know, just to get a new setting. I know it could be uh, an adventure to do something new and different. But at the same time, I do believe you need a routine. You need a rhythm. To do what you uh, 
to do what you do because it brings stability. It brings stability and peace of mind. And that's part of mental health and mental health is physical health. Anyway, that's what I have to say. I'm waiting for the walk signal. So it's obviously past September 1st. It's past September 1st. And so the new law goes into effect where uh, if, if you run over somebody at a crosswalk, you could be criminally charged. I don't know if that's gonna help me or not. I mean, there could be a law, doesn't mean I'll, I'm not gonna get hit by a car, but yeah, that's a new law. Just went into effect. I, get, I keep up with all this stuff, you know? Understand the rules, then you know how to play. Understand the rules, you know how to play the game. You know how to take advantage of the game. Oh man, it's beautiful out here. It's sunny, it's dry. It, the weather said it would be cloudy. There's a few clouds out here. But man, mostly, mostly clear. Tomorrow is supposed to be no clouds. So I can't wait to ride tomorrow. I'm just gonna cruise down. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna let gravity take over. I'll let the uh, flexi fleas vest cool me off. Oh yeah. I don't have to go too fast. I'm only down one bar battery, jeez. Okay, I gotta watch out for this truck. Okay. Thank you. Uh, he had a green light, but he pulled pulled back for let, to let me go. Very kind and nice people, man. Why would, oh, gnats. I just, I just felt some gnats hit my buff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the jump. I see ruts, I see like dirt ruts. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go. Around my yard, there's still some wet spots in my yard. That's how I know it's, the grass is wet out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gnats, I have to dodge. I have to dodge some gnats. I'm bobbing my head left and right. I just saw a whole bunch and I just had a had a dodge left, dodge right. You know, I feel like I'm boxing. Oh, more gnats. I didn't even see them. Oh, God. So I was in my house and I had the uh, window to the backyard open. And uh, I saw like all these gnats, like a lot of gnats in my backyard. I'm like, wow, that is... That's a lot, so I know there's gnats here. I'm not gonna go too fast. And, okay, those guys are gone. They left their knee pad. One guy left his knee pad. Oh, it looks like they're painting it brown, red? They got a new color scheme for, for this year. Yeah, so I saw all these gnats in my backyard, and that's when I know there's like, gonna be a lot of gnats out here in the uh, <laughs> in the open. If they're, if they're, if I, I mean like a swarm of gnats, a lot. I was like, oh goodness. So I wore, I wear a buff, put on some safety glasses. I'm wearing a tinted safety glasses. But yeah, I'm wearing a buff, tinted safety glasses. That, that helps reduce a lot of debris going into your face, into your eye. Especially if you're vlogging. If you're vlogging like I am, man, you know, last thing you want to do is start talking, blah, 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 blah. And then next thing, you know, you're choking. You just swallowed a, a bug or a whole bunch of gnats. How's that taste? No cars. I don't know, is that the sheriff? Sounds like that's Missouri City Police out there. I don't know what he's doing out here. He's not supposed to be out here. The sheriff patrols this area. All right. Oh, 
Feel that breeze. Feels good. It's a it's a warm breeze, but it's a dry breeze. Usually, it'd be a very wet, humid, hot breeze. I can tolerate this kind of warm breeze. It's not like warm breeze, but it's a breeze that helps me cool down because of the Flexi Freeze vest. I keep saying that, but man, it makes a difference. And of course, I'm wearing my white compression tights because the UV index is like extreme. It's always extreme. You know, it'll stop being extreme like in the middle of winter. Then it's moderate, like five or four on a scale of one to 10 and then extreme. So just to give you an idea. Feel good blood flow. I'm not trying to pedal hard like I usually normally would because I'm just really trying to enjoy the last days of summer, you know. I, I think I have like three or four days of nice sun. Three or four days of nice sun. And then it's going to, uh, it's going to uh, rain. And, you know, I'm in that, that time frame where where uh, it's going to it's going to rain a lot. Weather weather patterns are going to shift. I just know it. You know, I've been here so long, and I'm finally you know observing it every day, seeing it. So I know how to uh, I know how to dress. I know how to ride. I know what to do, what not to do. I know what to expect. And if you if you're prepared, you can do anything. When you're not prepared, you're taking a chance. So, some people like to take chances. It's thrilling. I don't. I got a lot to live for. I have many reasons to live. Zero reasons to die. Enjoy the ride, everybody. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the last days of summer. So I get my blood flowing. My, my legs feel a little pumped from pedaling. Ah, more gnats on the road, jeez. Ah, jeez, a lot of gnats. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just, uh, just trying to get blood flow, trying to get my legs, mu muscles kind of working again. Just get some boost of testosterone, vitamin D from the sun. And uh, when I get home, the house is all AC and I cool down real quick. And I have my Flexi Freeze vest. That really helps a lot. Otherwise, I'd be sweating a lot right now. Even with the electric bike. Unless I throttle it. But I don't want to throttle right now. I, I really want to get some of my leg workout in. Work out your legs, you know. And legs, major muscles in your legs. Work those out. Get a little boost of testosterone. Look at this guy, this guy's running. 
Fuck you, well done with testosterone. All right, so. Anyways, enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the last days of summer. Get ready for winter. Get ready for fall and winter. Hopefully you'll be able to ride. I'll be prepared. I'll do more off-road, off-road, uh, levee riding, uh, do a little bird watching. I'll, I'll take longer rides. They're not longer in distance, they're just longer in time. Because uh, I like to scout, explore, bird watch, animal watch, or whatever. We'll see how what, what other things I do. physical condition. I remember when I first got my Red Rover, I was sweating and breathing very hard. I was sweating and breathing very hard, even with the electric bike. My legs could not keep up with the cadence of the pedals, even on seventh gear. <laughs> my legs couldn't keep up. That's so funny. Now my legs can keep up with the cadence. right-hand turn. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and uh, consider joining membership. Until next one. Until the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. See y'all later.